is Aaron Tian. I'm a candidate in the Masters of Pest Management program, and today I'll be talking to you about how to take down a monster. Imagine a dead squirrel in the forest. Fungi race to decompose the dead animal on the forest floor. They spread by releasing spores up to 30,000 a second. And if one of these spores lands on the right spot and at the right time, it can colonize the entire carcass. But not all fungi feed on the dead. Days ago, a spore landed on this beetle, and now she's acting strange. A new work of roots have infiltrated her muscles. Her body has been taken over by a lethal fungus called Met. Met floods her body with chemicals, drugging her to the point of paralysis. And with just the right amount of light and just the right amount of moisture, Met reveals its gruesome nature. Killing the beetle from the inside out, releasing more spores, infecting more beetles. So why am I telling you this? Well, there are millions of pests all across the world that MET could potentially help control for. And this leads me onto my thesis, where I try to figure out a way to apply this fungus to control pests organically and to help reduce chemical input into our environment. My target pest is a beetle called a click beetle. It has a devastating larval state called a wireworm. And these wireworms are monsters. So what makes them a monster? Well, these wireworms can survive up to four years. They can bury through plastic. They can survive submerged in ethanol for over 24 hours. And they eat everything and anything. If you grow it, they will eat it. So what can we do? Well, in the lab, we have seen some promising results where we're able to use this fungus to take down this monster. But the challenge is, is taking our findings and translating it into a real life setting. So where to from here? Well, this year I travel across Canada from Vancouver Island to Prince Edward Island, continuing my research with organic growers. By applying this fungus in the soil where wireworms are living in, we may be able to rescue the dying crops. To slow, to stop, or even reverse the cruel damages these monsters cause. Thank you.